Canopen Magic is a high-performance tool for developments with Canopen Networks providing a wide range of functionality. In this video we will look at the node simulation options in Canopen Magic Ultimate. Canopen Magic Ultimate provides a full speed simulation system and depending on the PC speed it is able to simulate over 100 nodes. Nodes can be simulated in three different ways. The first way is using one of the included simulation nodes. The object dictionary in PDOs cannot be changed, but it allows for quick and easy testing of the CAN bus termination and hardware. The second way is a basic simulation of the object dictionary in PDOs. This allows entries to be read from and written to, but there is no application layer in the node and the data is not updated or processed. It is good for testing object dictionary layouts, especially in early prototyping phase. The third way is by compiling custom simulation nodes using our Canopen stack, MicroCanopen Plus. This allows an application layer to be written and simulated and is ideal for testing functionality before the real hardware is available. The simulated node can then be easily retargeted to a microcontroller. We will look at each of these in turn. In the following examples, we will use the loopback interface, which is a simulated CAN bus. However, simulated nodes can be run on a real CAN bus and interact with real nodes. To create a simulation node, go to the simulation menu and then choose new simulation mode. This creates a node using the default included node. Start the node by clicking on the start button. The trace window shows the boot up and emergency messages for the node. We can now interact with it. Here we can see the node has booted up and is transmitting uh, PDOs. The simulation window has a process image tab, which is the real time data of the node held in the object dictionary. We can see that the values in 6401 sub entry 1 and 2 are changing. That is because the simulation node includes some code to do this in order to provide an example. Now let's look at simulating a custom object dictionary. First we need an electronic data sheet. These can be made from scratch for custom nodes or obtained from can open node vendors if using a third party node. To do this we need to change the configuration of the simulated node. Click on the configure button. One of the included simulation DLLs allows for custom object dictionaries. Click on the Browse button to select it. Next we need to select the EDS to use. Finally we must select the option to convert the EDS into a node configuration. Let's try reading our custom entries. We can also write to custom entries. Next we will look at a simulation of a custom node using MicroCAN Open Plus. With this approach we can now simulate anything that isn't hardware dependent. Here is the line where the example variable is incremented in one of the other dictionary entries. Let's change it so it counts down instead. Now we will select the new DLL that we just compiled in Visual Studio. 
and we'll select the corresponding electron data sheet. Now we can see that entry 6401 sub entry 1 is counting down instead of up. Finally, let's look at group simulation. This is a way of simulating multiple nodes in an efficient manner. All nodes in the group must use the same simulation DLL and the same settings. To do this, we go to Simulation and New Simulation Group. We can enter a name for the group and we can enter the node IDs used by the simulated nodes. If we look at the trace window, we can now see the boot up messages and the emergency messages from all 15 nodes. We have now set all 15 nodes to operational, so they are continually transmitting their PDOs. And we can see that the total bus load is around 32% on this network, simulating network, which is at 125 kilobits per second. This, is, this mode is helpful for stressing a network and seeing how real nodes perform when additional nodes are added. Using the simulation features of Canopy Magic Ultimate, a range of development and prototyping scenarios can be explored. Thank you for watching.